Three minutes about age spots and liver spots. A lot of people, as they age, develop little spots on their face, on their hands, on the back of their hands, mostly around the cheeks, on the forehead. If they have receding hairline, they would have a lot of spots right on the top of their forehead, the areas that are most exposed to the sun. And if we have severe, uncontrolled sun exposure for hours and hours every day, like some farmers and athletes and people who are in the outdoors all the time and don't wear good protective hats, we see over time that the sun is damaging the skin and causing pigmentation damage, which leads to spots. And some of us call them age spots, sometimes we call them sun spots on the skin, and some people by mistake call them liver spots. But the majority of them are from excessive ex exposure to the sun. Now, the sun is very important and we need to be exposed to the sun for various reasons, including the production of vitamin D. And when we use sun screens, or those SPF 30 and above, we are not just preventing the inflammation that the skin has in reaction to excessive sun exposure, we also lose our protection because we stay in the sun a lot longer as a result of this blockage of the UVB portion of the, of the spectrum. Instead we get more of the UVA exposure which damages our skin further and increases our risk for skin cancer. Also some of those SPF uh, products contain artificial substances that which increase themselves the risk for certain types of skin cancer. So I'm not in favor of using those skin uh, protection products, but I'm in favor of very small amount of sun exposure every day, as in sunbathing is good for us, but the rest of the time we need to be protected. Otherwise, if we don't protect ourselves with hats or with good clothing, and we allow this exposure to continue uninterrupted for many years, these sunspots get gradually thicker and thicker, until finally they become rough, they start scaling and peeling off and reforming and one day they get thick enough that they can become ulcerated and that's when we call them solar keratosis. They don't even have to be ulcerated, it's enough that they are thick and hard like a crust and they are in many places that have been exposed to the sun quite a lot. We call them solar keratosis and they are definitely pre-cancer and we need to address them, we need to diagnose them and we need to treat them but the best treatment to use is not surgical. If you want to learn more about that, go to the solar keratosis article that I have written specifically for you. It's free uh, and it is at the ecopolitan.com website.